Yes, we are going back to the uh, to the end. That didn't play out how I was expecting. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. I can tell you that much. When an old soul like me. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! It's kind of awkward. I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Isn't the heroes of the hour? I heard about what you did for that girl. Free room and board. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Of course. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Okay. It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. No, you ain't. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? Rest up while you can. I'll let you know if anything happens. I could feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Ah, there's a chest. I want the chest. Come in. One second. Mm. Nice. Might as well equip this while we're here. Hold up. 
Auto cast. Oh, you son of a bitch. I can move him down to her Bengal. Or whatever it is. Auto cast and heal. Fire, ice, and wind. Generation. Didn't know that was a thing. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Damn. Water under the bridge. But next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Gotta wonder what Shinra's planning up there. No goodies. Damn. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Huh. Not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. My poor nose. Mm, that was weird. I wonder if I'm supposed to be an asshole to him. What the hell is this? I still have Tifa. Is it just Tifa? Oh, hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at 7th Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, 
the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck? Forget it. <laughs> what a dick. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? She wants to know the truth about why you lied. Stomach. up bro the hell does purple mean here it's time you got to know me my name is Yuffie materia hunter and elite ninja operative for the interim Wutai government I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with uh, Wutai yep which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive so i've been moving from town to town hustling scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until that is i came here and lucky i did because i met Rhonda. she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is seriously yes <sighs> just spit it out already who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Mm. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. 
Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Oh, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. Now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you! Oh, no. I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. This has got to be that dude from uh, from Remake, the motorcycle scene, right? Yeah. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> It only takes two to tango. Oh, God. Besides, you and I like to go big and event. I hated this fight in remake. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. What? <laughs> we might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Got her. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell is this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? 5,000 gil, huh? I've had to improvise, but I didn't, because it all worked out. Oh, go to hell, Rob. fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. So what do we got here? So we took care of all of the Queen's Blood players. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is gonna be for our uh, journey up to the top. Using the, uh, the dolphin and whatnot. So, so to be honest, like I, I really don't wanna go to the top if I don't have to. Notice board. I might, I might go check that out. I'm really curious about the crow's nest though. I need to get in there first. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the community board, uh, and then we'll try to head back to the crow's nest and see if we can get in. If not, I guess we'll go see Priscilla. You clearly don't have anything better to do. Think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. All right. I've already got a porter picked out too. 
Good dog. Here's Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle. Bro, are we... Who exactly? Are we doing an escort mission with a dog? Haven't seen him in a spell. Not huh, since he left okay. town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Ask where her son is. The crow's nest. Yes. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Perfect. I wanted to go there. Kind of sad, if I'm being honest. If you're going to run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. Let's ask about the money. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's got to learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Good boy. All right, let's take the job. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. Okay. Uh, legit, we're gonna rendezvous, so th is this not like an escort mission? Okay. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so. Okay, that's the bodyguard. We already did this one, huh? Ah, that's the that's the first one that we did. And this one, ribbit, ribbit, calling all frogs. You know, it's very interesting that Rhonda used the whole, uh, underneath a steel sky. Kind of similar to the whole, um, like, what, Sector 7 type thing. So, analogs, right? Analogs. Okay, uh, let's not go see Priscilla. Okay, now that is Priscilla. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, that's the place we got kicked out by the kids. All right, let's hope we don't get auto-positioned to uh, doing Priscilla's quest if we get too close. The crow's nest folks don't try so we're good. Right. Ribbit, ribbit. I got hit with magic, huh? Ribbit. Oh. Uh, hello? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? This is a no grown up zone. Get lost. You're a kid? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. Jesus it's just Christ. there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing jump frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Ah! Help us! Oh my god. Cloud. We gotta fight us frogs, huh? Tifa. Oh my god. I to warn you, like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> the little buster sword, dude. Oh, that's kind of wild. 
Aerith? No. Oh, that's kind of awesome. All right, so she's got like she's got like a little bow and whatnot. Uh, let's switch. No. This is how I found out last time that I accidentally switched uh, Tifa and Aerith out for Barrett in 13. Okay, no, 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 no. no. I have got to see what they look like as frogs. Alright, so Barrett, Barrett's just a big ass frog. He's got he's got a little got a little Gatling gun on his arm. Red 13. Okay. Got something coming out of his eyes. Got a little fire ass. Cool. Okay. All right. Get the fuck out. Ow! What the fuck? This is... Holy crap. Okay, so we basically all have the same moves. So. see anything in this fog. So you press circle to leap over incoming obstacles and dash to safety with either R2 or L3. Remain on the platform as long as you can to prove your amphibian finesse. Get knocked off though and you'll croak. Oh my god, this reminds me of... was it Fall Guys? Think you two can handle it? Oh, just an enfeeblement ring? Alright, yeah. I remember playing this game. At least with fall players. All right, so we have to make sure to leap over the things that are turning, and we have to watch out for the the plates that fall. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. That was unexpected. Okay, this seems like cheating. So 
we don't have to worry about jumping and we just just keep walking i guess Oh man, I didn't think about I didn't think about the top. What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Yeah, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. Really? Shut up, Tifa. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> hey. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> jerk. Uh, so let's check out this enfeeble machine. I hate this song, by the way. Definite skiff whenever the soundtrack comes on. People, man. Here we go. So, Grant's Toad. The I'm kind of curious why you would want to start off as a Toad. Start a battle. How do we... Can we play this again? I, I don't remember what I got. Did I get rank one? No, right? How do you play this stupid game again? Uh, I gotta last an entire minute and 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and play this again. So I have to be careful about the top. So let's do this again. We're gonna go in the opposite direction. Oh man, the the ghosting in this movement. I think it's for the imagery construction stuff. Looks pretty bad. All right, so we should have plates falling in about 30 seconds. All right, so that's the worst part, is that once the plates start falling, trying to figure out what to do at that moment, that one's a little tough. Okay, at least we can butt up against it. Okay, start heading towards the outside. Ah, it is getting faster. Right, here we go. Oh. Shit! Oh, man. That was messed up. That was messed up. Like, I, I went in the wrong direction. I was like, was too. You know, and it really has nothing to do with the rest of the participants either. Like it's strictly these uh, these these barriers over here. Okay. Oh, 
barely clipped it. Barely clipped it. All right, almost done. Almost done. A minute 20. Not too bad. Right, I felt like we got in a good rhythm there. Honestly, the hardest part is just the just the speed of, uh, of the spinning bars at the top. So it seems like at a certain point you have to jump like across the bottom bars in uh, the leftward direction twice before you can uh, you can jump to the right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Times a charm. Over here. Oh man. That sucks. That sucks. You know what? I bet you I bet you if I had landed on it, I would have I would have made it. Alright, so that's the plan. So go in the direction of the bottom bars for the first 30 seconds. And the crazy thing is, is like this is something I've complained about already. The the difficulty isn't really with the game itself. It's not even with the controls, if I'm being honest. It's the fact that you're too zoomed in to the game, you know? Like, if this was zoomed a little bit further out, this probably wouldn't be an issue. Jesus. But yeah, like, it's it's really hard to keep track of everything because you're so zoomed in to the, to the play field that you can't really see what's going on around you. I get stuff like it, it almost feels like there is more of a pattern that you're wanting to pay attention to rather than like, you know, actual skill, unfortunately. So I think in the last attempt, I wasn't far left enough. By the time I jumped, the bars basically met. They were parallel to each other and there's nothing I can do about it. All right. Ooh, that was close. I think at the one minute mark, I have to get to the extreme right of whatever plate's left. At least the pretty, at least the first 30 seconds are free, to be honest. You know, interestingly, it seems that the, if I follow the path, it seems like the plates fall at about the same location. So that's kind of crazy. Okay. Whoa, oh, that was, that was, dude, that was terrible. All right, so maybe this is all predetermined though. 
So, so I fo if I follow the arms at the bottom until the 30 second mark, it seems like I'll always be towards the edge of a plate falling. So it doesn't look like the, the plates that fall are randomized anyway. I think that's consistent. Okay, then if that's the case, then I just have to uh, to memorize. Um, you know, if I if I keep consistently playing a specific way, then the outcome should always be the same. Okay, so yep. Oh, I jumped too early. I jumped too early. That's my fault. that's definitely my fault. Okay, so that is the case. So what I'm going to need to do is 30 second mark, uh, I switch directions, I think I hop two bottom bars, head to the right as much as I can, then jump over two or three bars, head back to the right. I think that's the pattern that we got to follow. All right. Okay. You know what, Inst, maybe, uh, I'm going to keep going. So after I get to the, after I get to the 30 second mark, I'm going to keep going and get to the other, uh, other set of plays. Mm, maybe that's not a good idea. I am kind of invested. Yeah, I'm not going to, I don't want to change anything. I don't want to spend more time with this place unless I have to. There we go. And one. Two. One. Oh, that one's moving slow. Oh, I can't believe I made it. I shouldn't have made it. Dude. I forgot. I, for I didn't even listen to myself. I swear, like, it's uh, one minute, three seconds, and nine, huh, nine, nine thousandths of a second. It's like consistent. Okay. So 30 second mark. I'm gonna stop at the edge of one of the plate slices and head in the opposite direction. Jump once, twice, head back to the right. Um, and then head back to the right as much as I can and then move to the left again and jump over more. One, two, That was close. Oh my god. Oh, I was so late on that input. I don't know why. I don't know why. Did it again. 
I did it again. I knew better. I should have gone to the very right, and then I should have... I needed to go to the edge of the right. So I think what I need to do is I need to go to the edge of the right and basically just jump back to the left so that way I don't fall off. Rip, I do not want to spend an entire video just playing this stupid game. with that. Right. What am I doing? I knew I was supposed to go left and I went right anyways. The worst part about it is like I felt like I had so much time to regret my decision. And just contemplate the fact that I was going to have to restart this stupid game again. me like I kind of lost track of where I was at again you know if I wasn't so zoomed in I felt like I would have been able to react to that better just making excuses because I'm terrible If anything, I think we can confirm that this game is pretty deterministic. There's not a lot of dynamism when it comes to this. So I think this one is going to be like a three. Or maybe just two. Whoa! That was almost too late. Oh my god! I was too far to the right, I think. I want that damn last ring. Too early. whole entire section play through for the video. I'm going to have to cut this good portion of it out. This is awful. This is awful. Kind of embarrassing too. Oh. I thought I was a capital G gamer, man. Apparently not. I need to be a capital G gamer in this one. Oh my god, I'm gaming! Fuck! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! 
so much for gaming. I keep telling myself that I need to head to the right and then head and then jump to the left. But I don't, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I haven't even got past to the last section yet. So I'm not even too sure. So I'm spending about a minute every time and I still haven't figured out what the last last portion of this game is going to be like. was just me being terrible. I had it. I had it. I think I just jumped too late. I gotta listen to this song over and over and over again. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we 30 second mark. One. Two. To the right. Left, jump one. Jump two. Head to the right. One. Head to the right. One. Woo. Two. Three. Oh. Jump one. Two, three, one, two, three, to the right, jump one, two, head to the right, one, <gasps> two. Yo, what was that? What was that? I got stuck or something like that. Ah, oh. <laughs> you know what? I, I got hit before the 120 hit, but flying back, I guess the timer still counts down. That didn't feel earned, but I'm going to take it. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. No, <laughs> get me out of here. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Get me out of here. All right, now, as far as like salmon goes, like, what's his ass gonna be up to? I'm tempted just to warp directly over to the crow's nest, but should have never let them build a I'm unsure of what the whole salmon thing is. It sounds like it's supposed to be an escort mission, but the dog already kind of went. Maybe like we have to. You wouldn't. There's like checkpoints on the map where we kind of run into them every once in a while. Yes, some Something like that. So. Brittle houses in the sea. Pink chipping. I think we have to follow that that green. Oh, we also got to do the. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, take the snapshot. So, I'm assuming we're rendezvousing with salmon somewhere. Over here. There he is. Oh, 
Please pet him. No, please pet him. Yes. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is going to have to go through me. Yo. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? 14. Wait, it was spring, so 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop him. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But. But. 2,000 kill. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> But you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? That'll do. Oh, I got stuck. All right. Don't overdo it. I got it. Come on. Uh oh. We we already did this, right? Oh. I actually missed a treasure chest. I didn't know that. Dude. And it was right here too. Three canisters of hazardous material. This dumb little dog song is pretty damn cute. Yo! <laughs> I just noticed it's bow wow wow bow wow wow. So, this sonic boom, right? <laughs> Yo, 
salmon got hit. What the fuck? This is kind of annoying. I, I think the, the chocobo kind of goes away. I have to call him every time we do this. All right, so we're like halfway there, though. I got you, salmon. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, wait, hold up. I got the nosy thing, right? No? I swear. Could be just the uh, the blue helmet. No, I got it. I'm behind you. There we go. Let's get back to the Bow Wow song. Yo. What the hell, dude? <laughs> about to pray guys I was about to pray yeah those chocobos literally go away bow wow wow bow wow wow This is... Oh, we're a little bit further away than I thought. So, I'm probably gonna head to the right and then follow that all the way down with the coast. Oh, my sweet baby girl. What now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. He's gonna fail you! Oh, I can't let you go. I'm just scared. Barrett, get your shit together. <laughs> barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. God, I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey. Oh. What the hell is this? Deal with that. All right, so Detrimental status effects petrifying stone. You have been petrified. Taking a certain amount of damage while in the state will turn you to stone, rendering you incapacitated. Yikes. Avoid damage until the status wears off or cure the ailment with Isuna, remedies or other spells or items with similar effects. Thank you. 
All right, so I guess we got hit with that stone thing. So a rare Cyclone Drake variant. Create standstorms with its powerful wings to trap and weaken its prey. Attacking the aura that shrouds it will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawned, and once it has vanished, the Drake will become pressured. Attacking it from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. And we can use wind. Ooh. Exquisite beast spawn. <laughs> Scale. I'll show you what I can do. Get ready. Yeah. What she has jet stream. That's wind. I don't know how you could attack from behind. Like, come on. These assholes move so quickly. I got Cure, cure, uh. Does somebody have it? Mm, maybe not. Come on. You can do it. Take it over. I'll take care of you. There's poison. Wake somebody up. Echo, silence. Physical damage. Oh no. I don't have anything to help her, do I? Well, you're mine. This one's for you. Take him down. Up. Nice. the game did not let me move at all for a couple seconds. Alright, so did, uh, did Tifa die? No. Almost there. Salmon at. There it goes. Oh, we're here. Sam, 